All right, here we are, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back, Manhattan Project. Uh, today we are going to be <clears throat> minding my voice, and we are going to be reviewing the Sagamore very, cast very strength. Very sultry. Very sultry. If you like gravelly, just getting over a cold. Yeah, so Sagamore yeah. Cash Strength. Cash Strength. Yeah, uh, I picked this one up at Sagamore up there in Baltimore. Tell us about that. It was a nice trip. It was a sunny day. <laughs> Actually, I don't have no clue. It was a sunny fall day. 56.1%. <laughs> 112.2% And it's another one of these bottles that we uh, bought three quarters of the way empty. I don't know how this keeps happening. Mm. Well, you know how it happens. We just wait too long to film these things. Uh, blend of straight high rye and low rye mash bill aged four to seven years. The seven year contributes deeper, darker chocolate, hazelnut, and molasses characteristics. And the four year old adds the shenanigans. Uh, bright citrus notes and balanced spice. The shenanigans? No, I added that. <laughs> four-year-olds i don't know four-year-olds add shenanigans so yeah so we're gonna do our you know kind of new hybridized <laughs> manhattan project method here we're gonna try this neat first yeah so for those of you who don't know sagamore is based out of baltimore baltimore city specifically Balmer. and from this location it's only about uh, 15 minutes away this location being our location yes um and it happens the be right down the street from a restaurant that I mm. frequent frequently. Frequently frequent. Redundant. Yeah. Redundantly redundant. Okay, mm. it's not doesn't smell too hot. No, it doesn't. It's it's pretty well balanced. I mean I, I get everything that they're talking about there, the caramelized, uh the caramel notes, the caramel yeah. the caramelized notes, the caramel notes. And some chocolate. Some, I definitely get chocolate. Some oak. Probably thanks to Brian. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just killing his trees. All right. All right. Drinking his trees. I'm sorry. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I get the citrus. Um. I don't know if you're getting that at all. I get a little bit no. of the citrus. Um, but I think I get more of the the hazelnut, the chocolate, the oh, yeah. deeper darker totally, notes. Totally, I'm getting a lot of chocolate. Yeah, yeah. And that's I've seen on Facebook they advertise that specifically. Yeah, totally getting that. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, bungle. Let's do it. Let's bung it. This is pretty high for me. Um, I'm at eight five. Really? Yeah. I could be swayed. I was between eight five and another number. Eight seven five. No. Okay. Um, for me, this is nine. That's where I was. Okay. Nine. I was waffling between eight five and a nine. Okay. So yeah. Nine. We can do nine. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. This will clear you right up. It will. Uh, Sagamore Rye Cash Strength. Nine point oh. Neat. Yeah, we're gonna, Fantastic. We're gonna roll this right into a Manhattan now. So let's do it. Let's set that down. Let's get the gear out. Do you have some uh, some anecdotes for these fine folk while I go ahead and manufacture this custom curated cocktail here? So for those of you who have been watching this or have looked at all of our videos. Or some. Or some. Um, we started off with um, doing Manhattans to in an episode. And we will do that from time to time. And we also branched off into uh, neat episodes, but we've kind of like <coughs> agreed that that's not the direction we necessarily want to take the neat episodes. Uh, standalone. Standalone. Uh, there's a million people doing neat episodes, and we're not seeing a lot of traction in it. Well, the guys that do the neat pours and they do the reviews on the neat pours, like they do deep dives. Right. But, like that's not what we're about. Like we don't, you know, we're not we're not trying to sit here and give you guys a 35 minute long video of the history of Sagamore and right. where they came from even though I know where their trees came from um, 
where all the other stuff came from, right. where they came from, their origins, all this, that, and the other. Their distilling methods. We're not trying to go too crazy. You know, we're just two guys trying to make some drinks, give you some real-world reviews of right. where we think they're at. Yes. That's why we're using fridge ice and not cubes or whatever. Yeah. Um, look, if y'all want to be all bougie like that, then do your thing. Yeah, and the whole the whole background thing on these distilleries, that's great. I love that stuff, but we kind of approach this whole Manhattan Project where... We like whiskey. At least me. Like, I don't really care about any of that stuff necessarily, and I wanted to be approach it as more like a nude. Yep. And a nude? Yeah, a nude. <laughs> um, so I would, didn't want to go into making oh. didn't want to go into making any of these Manhattans with a bias against any for or against any whiskey. So that's kind of where we are. No biases. Yep. Get the bitters in there. Sure did. Okay. Apparently I can't talk and watch at the same time, so that's that's where we're at. All right, with the lovely help of our fine assistant, we have some chairs. Bada bing style. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. There so we go. I'm already excited about this. I'm expecting great things. I'm excited. Um, Who's more excited? I'm probably more excited. Than <laughs> well, it was a nine neat. Smells good. It smells good. Yeah. All right, let's just get into it. Yeah. Cheers. One sip. Nobody knows. You know the drill. These fools. Oh. That's good. That's really good. Um, That's really good. Very sweet, um, but not in a bad way. No, not in a bad way at all. And a lot of the things that we got neat, they translate into the cocktail, yeah. so I still get that chocolate. Yeah, imagine a chocolate Manhattan. Yeah, and I get a little bit of like hazelnut note mm -hmm. to it as well. I get it. Yeah, no, I think that's pretty damn good. Yeah, and I think, I think backing up to the neat, this is just enhancing it. But I, I was getting cherry, and it took this to, for me to realize it. Yeah. So you getting cherries? Mm-hmm. A little cherry pie? No, not cherry Maybe. pie. Yeah, I don't get the baking spices. No. Chocolate, hazelnut. Um. You know what I get out of this? I get chocolate, I get hazelnut, I get molasses characteristics. Anyway, no, but seriously, I do get the cho chocolate <coughs> and hazelnut. It's really good. This is up there, too. Mm -hmm. All right. So, if we rewind, I think the Sagamore 8-Year Rye, at that time, that was one of the highest scoring. I don't recall the scores at this point, but... It was either a 9 or a 9.5. Yeah. I had this higher than a nine. I'm good with a nine five. Okay. Yeah. Nine five it is. Yeah. This is really good. All right, y'all. Cash drink, Sagamore, American Rye Whiskey. Out of Baltimore. Out of our, Baltimore. Our home state. Out of Baltimore. Uh, neat, 9.0. Manhattan, 9.5. Fantastic whiskey. Fantastic cocktail. Go get you some. Cheers. Cheers.